Hello, what's going on? How's everything? Hey, it's your girl Sandy. Take it away. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for having me. Um, we missed last week because I was a little under the weather. I had to get my life together. Um, today the topic is what is karma. I did a little research before I jumped on here, and I found a couple of things. One, which to me, they all kind of go together. They all make sense. Because this woman was a Slavic form of pornographic actress. actress. And we're not talking about the person. We're talking about the word pornographic because what do you think about when... You're watching a porno, right? You're giving and you're getting. But that's just one part of it. Then I went on to Merriam Webster's dictionary. And the definition of that was the force generated by a person's action held in Hinduism and Buddhism to perpetuate transmigration and its ethical consequences to determine the nature of the person's next existence. That's deep, kid. That's deep. But Miriam said that. That was her definition of that word. Because sometimes you wonder why people come into this world a certain way. It could be homelessness, oppression, money. Abuse, they could be having they could be rich. They could have things they don't want, they could have things they do want. You know what I'm saying? That's just how it goes sometimes. Then that was for them or whoever else is alive, because everybody is born with karma. We all born with karma. It's like yin and yang. Can't get away from it. You want to experience karma. Karma is like right around the corner. Back then, karma used to take a long time to come. I ain't like that no more now. Karma be knocking on your door in the next two minutes. Like a hot pocket. And that's real. That's why you got to watch yourself, watch your thoughts, your tongue, what you're saying, how you're treating people. Because, baby, some people don't believe it. Some do. Get what you sow, kid. Get what you sow. But how you deal with that kind of stuff? How you deal with it? Some people... Go many different ways. They might apologize, trying to turn over a new leaf. But that leaf is crusty. It's going to crumble. Because now you got to go back and sow some new seeds. And that's, that could take a long time, longer than what karma came and gave you that visit for. People don't understand, kid. People do not understand. Some some people take a bath. They like some candles. You know, drink some water and repent. Make us get back to business the next day. But some things are not meant for us. We might be in the way of it. Might be trying to save somebody's life and then be the one. Stepping in front of the bullet while they dodge one that was really meant for them. It's dangerous. You gotta be careful. I know somebody, I know people, a lot of people that go through karma. They think they can come around and mess with you and then get away with it with a smile on their face. They don't go like that. Sometimes you gotta sit back and watch the shit show. You just do. And sometimes you got to say something and say, you know what? Whatever. Let's see what happens. <laughs> You're taking a chance now. Now you you ready for that. 
He is ready for that. But we're going to keep this short. Um, Shamir, are we going to end this here? Absolutely. We want to thank y'all guys for tuning in. Can you still hear me? Thank- yeah. Yes, I'm listening. Yeah, we want to thank y'all guys for tuning in. Make sure y'all always check out It's Your Girl Sandy every Monday, every Tuesday. Every Tuesday. Every Tuesday at 1030. Make sure y'all guys listen in, lock in, and follow us on Social Therapy IG on Instagram and follow us on Social Therapy number one on Twitter. And make sure y'all subscribe to our channel, Social Therapy Mag. Good night, y'all.